how to write A-level business essays. Top five tips in Cambridge International. Let's face it, no one likes writing essays, but the further you go in education, the more essays that you will have to write and the longer and more difficult they become. The good news is business essay writing is a skill that everyone can learn by learning to use the right technique and with a bit of practice. I'm going to share with you the top five tips to improve your essay writing and A-level business in Cambridge International exams. But these tips are relevant for any A-level business exam board and actually in many other subjects as well. Cambridge Business Essentials is all about boosting your grades in A-level business, specifically for Cambridge International examinations. If it's your first time here, then please subscribe immediately to stay updated with all the latest tutorials in Cambridge International Business. If you click in the top corner, this will take you straight to a blog post with these beautiful guides. Ooh. So let's get into it. Top tip one is plan and structure. Before you start, Stop. Make a simple plan. This could be as simple as a list of points for and against. The reason why planning is so important is that it allows you to make a greater structure in your essay and include a greater range of points so you avoid repetition. Planning and thinking through your answer before you begin will guide you to a reasoned decision in evaluation questions too. As an examiner, it's pretty obvious to me whenever students don't plan and just make up the answer as they go along. And it can be tempting for students to see the question, think they're short on time and just dive straight in. It's really reassuring when you see that the student has written a short plan before beginning because you can really see the evidence of that in the answer. It's well structured and then the student secures marks much more quickly and much more efficiently. Number two. Focus on the subject in the question. Is the question asking about employees or managers? Human resources or operations? To score the highest marks, you need to find out exactly, firstly, what the question is asking you for, and then secondly, stay focused on the question throughout your answer. What often separates C and A grade students is this ability to, to stay focused throughout the essay. This then allows you to select the most relevant application or evidence from the case study to support your answer. Often students go completely off on a tangent and then write pages of content that don't score any marks because it's not answering the question. A top tip is to underline the keywords in the questions and keep checking back to make sure you're actually answering the question as you complete your answer. Top tip three. Use paragraphs. Paragraphs signal to the examiner that you're moving on to a new point, and they'll encourage you to avoid repetition. If you've already dealt with a point in one paragraph, you'll move on to a new point by starting a new paragraph. Paragraphs form the building blocks of essay. Every paragraph builds onto the next part of the discussion and the next relevant point required to answer the question. Aim to build a chain of analysis in each paragraph with knowledge, application, analysis, and then that further analysis. We've got a specific tutorial on chains of analysis. You can check that out at the end of this video. You can find a complete guide to building chains of analysis in the A-level blog, and the link is in the description below. Four, use connective phrases. Within each paragraph, Connective phrases are a great way to keep you focused on the question and build a chain of analysis. Use phrases like, this means that. This will impact the business to introduce analysis. Say, this is of crucial importance because, or other factors to consider are to introduce evaluation. Cambridge examination reports state every year how students focus too much on knowledge at the expense of analysis and evaluation. Connective phrases are the magical expressions that force you to explain the impact of the business decision and unlock higher marks. Number five, 
get the insider information. Each essay question will have its own unique recipe for knowledge, application, analysis, and evaluation. For example, an A to 20 mark question has just three knowledge marks, but 10 for evaluation. But the opening 10 mark essay in paper 3A2 has no evaluation at all. So it's really crucial that you know the exact requirements of each question so then you can tailor your answer to those requirements to get full marks. To confidently score full marks in each type of question, see our specialist question guides at caiebusiness.com so you know exactly what you need to include for top marks in each question. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments which essays that you find the most challenging and any tips that you'd like to share for improving your exam performance.